Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about how to multiply fractions. But this time, ang mismong scenario natin is we will include two fractions and three fractions. At the same time, alam ko meron din mga uh, grade 7 students who are uh, searching for multiplying fractions na merong negative at positive signs. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basic guys, how do we multiply fractions? Paano ba ba nagmumultiply ng fractions? Now, pag nagmumultiply tayo ng fractions, what we are doing is we are multiplying the numerators and the denominators. At the same time, we will do simplifying of your answer at the end of it. So, how do we multiply this kind of example? Sabi dito, find each product. For number 1, we are given 3 over 5 times 2 over 3. For this case, I will give you two different methods. Una yung classic. Pangalawa, you may cancellation. Now, for multiplying fraction for the classical method or first method, what I will do is I will simply multiply the numerator and that will give me 3 times 2. Again, 3 over 5 times 2 over 3. I will simply multiply the numerator and the other numerator, 3 times 2, that is 6, over your 5 times 3, I will also multiply the denominators, which is 5 and 3, and that will give you the answer of 15. So this is 6 over 15. Now, as, as I mentioned earlier, when you're doing multiplying fractions, at the end of your answer, you need to simplify it by getting the greatest common factor, which is 3. To simplify this, this will give us the answer of 2 over 5. Sir, how come we gain 2 over 5? Guys, we have 6 divided by 3, that will give you 2. 15 divided by 3, that will give you 5. And sir, how about the second method? As for the second method, um, we are doing cancellation if ever na meron pwedeng i-cancel out. Let's say for example, we have 3 over 5 times 2 over 3. As you can see, we have here 3 at the numerator of the first fraction. We have the 3 at the denominator of the second fraction. Wherein, kapag meron kang same number in the numerator and the denominator, you can cancel it out. You can cancel out 3 and 3 and this will give you the answer of 2 over 5. And as you can see, they are equal. Okay? We use different method, but since they're the given are the same, we can come up with the same answer. Again, what are the rules or what are the simple rules in multiplying fractions using the classical method? Simply multiply the numerator and the other numerator, denominator to the other denominator. At the end, you need to simplify your answer. And for the second method that I use, uh, you can use cancellation method if ever possible. So let's continue with item number two. For item number two, we are given this is a negative. Negative 4 over 7 times negative 3 over 5. Now, narrow time rules in multiplying integers. But this one is fraction. If you multiply negative times a negative, it will give you a positive answer. But if you multiply different signs like negative and a positive, it will give you a negative answer. But in our case, as you can see, since the first fraction is negative, and the second fraction is also negative, we can come up with the answer of positive product. So all we need to do is to multiply the numerator and the numerator, and that is 4 times 3, that will give you 12 over, 12 over 7 times 3, which is a 7 times 3, which is 35. And all we need to do is to think 
if we can still simplify the answer. And one of the greatest common factor, so our answer right now is equal to 35. Okay? I hope you have one you missed the lesson natin for today. Now let's continue with item number three. For item number three, uh, we have three different fractions. First, we have 6 over 13 times 1 over 6 times 2 over 3. So, basic ang rule natin, guys. You can multiply uh, the numerator, 6 times 1 times 2. We have 13 times 6 times 3. But, as you can see, we have 6 here in the numerator and we have 6 here in the denominator. So, we can shorten the methods or the R method on how to multiply the fraction. We can cancel out 6 and 6 and it will become 1 and 1. So, ang purpose kasi nito guys, bakit tayo nag-cancellation ay para mas mapaliit yung ating fractions o yung mga product na meron tayo. Okay? So, let's continue. We have 1 times 1 which is 1 times 2 that is equal to 2. And as for your denominator, for your denominator that is 13 times 1, that is 13 times 3, this will give you the answer of 30, 39. Therefore, guys, the correct answer for item number 3 is simply 2 over 39. Okay? I hope based on the new methods natin, we have the classical method and we have the cancellation method. And for your activity, I'll be giving you two more examples for you to answer. I hope na masagutan nyo siya at after this video at sana makita ko siya sa ating comment section. At yung ating given for number 4 is simply 1, 1 over 5 times 2 over 7. At ang ating number 5 ay 1 half times 2 thirds times 3 over 4. And guys, I hope na natuto kayo sa mismong video natin on how to multiply fractions. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!